often asked, what is the B-screw, where is it, and what does it do? Let's take a look. When we look at the rear derailleur, we can see the tension pulley, the guide pulley, the limiting screws, and this is the B-screw. The B-screw controls the distance between the guide pulley and the cassette cogs, such that when we're in the largest cassette cog, the distance we would like between the guide pulley and the cassette cog is approximately 4 to 6 millimeters. If the gap between the largest cassette cog and pulley wheel is too small as you pedal, you may hear a distinct rumbling. This may also damage the pulley wheel. If the gap is too large between the largest cassette cog and the pulley wheel, you may experience poor shifting performance. Before adjusting the B-screw, Shift to the smallest chain ring and largest cassette cog. To adjust the B-screw, pull the derailleur all the way back such that the B-screw is off of the hanger releasing the tension on the B-screw. Screw it inward or outward depending on your needs and then go ahead and slowly release the derailleur. We're going to get into an interesting hack that I've used on the B-screw in just a minute, but let me just mention that usually you don't have to adjust the B-screw. It's usually adjusted by the mechanic who's assembling the components. You may have to adjust the B-screw if you're putting on a larger cassette. However, make sure if you do that, that the rear derailleur can accommodate that larger cassette. Now let's take a look at that hack I mentioned. On this 10 year old independent fab, decided to put an 1134 as a rear cog. The chain ring in the front is a 34 also. But when I go to shift, I could not shift up into the large 34 cassette cog, even though the limiting screws were adjusted properly. So here's my hack. Here's what I did I removed the old B screw, replaced it with a M4 by 25 millimeter screw that will fit the B screw and adjacent nut. I greased it before putting it into where the B screw goes. Let's take a look at that. Here's the B screw and we can see that we've inserted it, screwed it in and then applied our bolt at the very end or towards the end and we'll make some minor adjustments. Once the B-screw was replaced with a longer 25 millimeter B-screw, I adjusted the underlying nut or bolt to line up right with the end of the hanger. Now, just perfectly, nice trick. Have you ever had to adjust the B-screw? If you have, or you have other comments on this video, please comment below. Also subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.